Welcome back to an Ohio Country today. We're here at Dad's Toy Shop in beautiful downtown Wapa, Canada. And with me is J.P. Metz, uh, one of the owners here at uh, Dad's Toy Shop. Uh, before we get started talking about aviation and drones and things, give us a little bit of background on Dad's Toy Shop and how long you've been here. Well, we've been here since 1975. Down by the railroad tracks is where we started in a small building and then moved here in 85. It was a thing between my parents and us kids that we started. And now, of course, obviously, we're 10 times the size we was down there from the original start. So we've grown over the years, and we just love what we do, especially getting people to have a hobby that they can enjoy. Well, you know, uh, most certainly uh, this is uh, the Dad's Toy Shop lives up to its name. You have a lot of things in here. But today, we really want to kind of talk about... Uh, drones and you know those are becoming obviously they're very popular and so just give us a little bit of background on the drones that you sell and where they fit well the drones that we sell have cameras on them there's some that's indoor there's others that are for outdoor the latest and greatest has a gps built into it so you can do waypoints in it in other words you can tell it to go to this point this point this point based on a geo fencing and that lets you scan other places that you can't necessarily see it real clearly so it's important but you can do video the video is now because it's connected with a wi-fi will come back to your phone so you can even see what you're doing uh, i'm one of those that i'm not good at flying and watching the video at the same time but it, they're great on what we can do with them uh, the little ones here are made for indoor use that way you can fly inside and more important with the smaller ones you can get used to flying something larger down the road if I if I wanted to get started with a drone, what would you recommend? Of these drones, what would you say the ideal one would be for me to get started to learn how to operate one? If it was me, I would do the Stinger drones. Uh, this is a standard one. It has no GPS, where this has the GPS in it. And there's not a lot of dollar difference between the two of them. So uh, I like the better drone, but it is a little bit more expensive. We're not talking thousands. We're talking a couple hundred dollars. So it's within most everybody's reach and price range. Well, you know, you got a big day coming up here. Um, you know, we we focused on drones and, and aviation today. Got a, a got a got a big day coming up, big holiday, uh, Father's Day. You want to talk a little bit about what you going on got going yeah, on here got for that? Several things going on with Father's Day, especially if they come in and they take a picture of their dad with a car or truck, boat, whatever it might be. Then they then they can come in and get a free light kit for it or a, a coupon. So it's important. And at Dad's Toy Shop, the big thing is, and I'm going to step a little bit out, is we have the Great Wall of Parts. There is 287 feet here and 48 feet with these sliding doors and pegboards. So if you break it, and if you're really playing with it hard, you're going to break something on it. So we have the parts to repair it. Unlike some of the big box retailers, sometimes they don't have any parts at all there. And we can repair it. Well, so so you so you got the parts, you got the service, you know what? You also offer that extra touch as far as how to operate the piece of equipment. Right, we offer how to operate it, and like with any of the aircraft now, there are some FAA regulations that you can't be within five miles of an airport, and there is fines. There's big fines for that. So we want our people to be safe. We want other people in aviation to be safe, but at the same time to have fun. And not only do we sell just the aircraft, but we also handle airplanes, boats, cars, and drones. Well, you got a, you have a wide selection here uh, at, at Dad's Toy Shop. And so, you know, we've talked about Father's Day and all those kind of things. And I know our audience kind of wants to know a little bit about ag and drones. And I know we've done some other stories as it relates to that. Uh, you really don't get into the ag portion of it here uh, at Dad's. No, I do not get into the ag portion of it. Those are very expensive. Drones can be. But more important, I sell the kind that will learn you how to fly. So you're not you're not crashing a very expensive drone you've got something here as a as a toy and besides your kids could enjoy it when you're not using it jp you know we, we would be amiss if we didn't say something about neil armstrong and aviation yes that's correct uh neil armstrong you know is a big part of downtown wapakoneta and wapakoneta in general we have a museum of course named in his honor but more important if you look up high here you can see all the aircraft we have we're not just limited to drones but we're 
we've got an air taxi here we've got a over here we've got one of the sport cubs uh, we have jets even up here now those aren't beginner planes and the old days if we will back in between 75 and 85 we did not have the safe technology and what that does is that keeps you from crashing the airplane into the ground because you've done a stupid maneuver you've done something and you've rolled it upside down and don't know how to correct it where now it has the gyros and the uh piezoid gyros or their solid state gyros in them so to keep the plane level when you leave off the sticks yes you can flip a switch on there and put it into the uncontrolled mode if you will or it turn the safe off and it lets the plane do all kinds of acrobatics where it be loops or rolls um, i always say one thing though the customers that we do not have object avoidance in the aircraft so it's easy as <clears throat> i can say it you know you can run into telephone poles electric lines and more important um in my particular case a basketball hoop <laughs> <laughs> well you know out here we're you know we're a, obviously a rural uh, part of ohio uh and where we're located that's that's really an ideal area uh for operation of many of these because you can't run these in a very congested area no you can't run it in a congested area you need to avoid uh by faa rules airports and a lot of times people say well oh lima for example hi i can fly there but no, downtown Lima has two heliports, and heliports are part of that red zone. So you you, you got to avoid the hospitals and that. And there is an app now made. It's called B4 You Fly. You can download it on your smartphone, and it'll tell you right where you're at. You look at the screen, and it shows that you're in a restricted area. Well, you know, if anybody when you when they come in, and if anybody has any questions, particular questions about restricted area where's the best place to fly you'll be able to really help them out with that yes we can help them out and keep them from getting a fine or getting in trouble uh, we want to protect our full-size aircraft even though we want to go play there are also some fields around here there's in salina there's lima larks flying fields and they're made specifically for the remote controlled aircraft we have a large area where we can fly and it's unrestricted so, so we've talked a lot about aviation. We've talked a lot about drones, fixed-wing aircraft, but you have so much more here. Uh, you know, f remote toys. It, it just like, you want to just kind of talk about the other things that you have here. Right? Okay, let's go to the boats next. If you have a small farm pond, we have boats that are 12 inches long. We have boats that are 45 inches long, 54 inches long. We have a couple boats that'll go 50 mile per hour, real world speed. So it's not something that you're going to want to go to sleep there uh, or a, a lawn chair and beer type thing. <laughs> so we have fast. And then when we go to the cars, we even jump faster in that typically anything that is what they call brushless or lipo battery powered, those can go 60 mile an hour right out of the box. And we also have an X01, it's made by Traxxas, that it is a 100 mile an hour car. Now, it's nothing you can run in your backyard, it's a street car, but still, the kids can have all kinds of fun during the winter, or in winter and summer because they're waterproof, so on the cars, you can take them out and play in the yard. Well, you know, so cars, planes, trains, automobiles, it's a whole, the whole thing here at Dad's Toy Shop and with a lot of service to go with it. That's correct. We can service what we sell or we can help you. And the main thing that I like to do is teach the customers how to work on them. You know, we're willing to show the customer what to do, what to take apart. And we have parts that they can spend $60 for a new servo or they can spend the $8 for the gear set that's tore up in it. So it's not always that you got to spend the most money. And because we're a local hobby shop, we can help the customers. Also, the other thing at Dad's Toy Shop is we have not only the Father's Day, but we also have a way you can come in, you scan the QR code, and that gives you a chance to win some prizes. And more important is it lets you register as an email customer, and you can see what we have to offer not just coming in the store. We'd love for everybody to come in the store, but we realize sometimes you need to do a little bit of shopping before you come in. Where can they find out more information about Dad's Toy Shop? They can go to dadstoyshop.com and call us at 419-738-2007, or you can stop in at 123 West Glaze Street in downtown Wapakoneta and check it out in person. JP, thanks for being with us today. Glad you could stop in and check out Dad's Toy Shop. We'll be back with more in Ohio country today right after this.